Okay, engine's in, as I said it would be in the next video. Not without uh, a few little hiccups, but the brackets that, uh, the Coyote engine lift brackets wouldn't clear this rail right here. It went drop down and it got right there. And that was as far as it would go. It lacked about an inch and a half or so of dropping all the way down onto the mounts. So I ended up having to um, put a jack under the engine with some two befores and, and uh, support the engine with the jack and then tied a strap from the roll cage to the tail of the transmission, supported the engine that way, took the hoist out and then lowered it back down with the jack. So it's in. The transmission mount lined up good. Uh, there was one casualty right here. The starter solenoid, this, the end piece, that big light piece there, busted. You know, I'm not a fan of putting the starter in first. I'm, I, you know, in my lifetime, maybe I've swapped a couple dozen or so engines and I don't believe I've ever put the starter on first, but that's what the manual said and that's what I did. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend it, so now I've got to buy a starter relay or a starter Bendix, as they used to call it. Uh, hopefully they sell it separately because I think that starter was about 400 bucks. So underneath it lined up pretty good. And, um, you know, I did have a problem with the jack not wanting to roll under the car. Um, it actually rolls under it without the engine. And as soon as I started put a little weight on it, the frame was setting down onto the... I, I said the jack, I mean the engine hoist, and so had to roll the car, the front wheels up on some ramps to get enough clearance. So just little things like that, but that's pretty typical with, a, with an engine install. But I was able to do it, just me and my 13-year-old boy got it in, so, uh, but man, it is close. And you know, those double overhead cams really make that engine wide. It'd be a lot easier just putting a Ford small block in there. All right, we'll get it up here and I'll show the fit. You're eating. Almost up. Sorry for all the noise. There we go. Doing a quick video. There's my helper. You think it's for real? You think it's good? Um, Okay, so here's the transmission mount. Lined up pretty good. We're right at the front of the slot, but uh, you know, there's a little more room on that slot, so so it fits fine. Haven't tested the uh, drive shaft yet, but uh, as you can see, you definitely needed that low profile oil pan, and you're still just barely above the frame, but. You know, I don't plan on doing any off-roading with it, so I think it'll be okay. There is a lot of support around it, though. I don't. It, it'd be tough to hit that oil pan. I don't know how you would do it, but as you can see, the clearance right there and right here, if you could see that. And from the inside, here we go. Plenty of room to work on the front of the engine, so that's nice. And some of the clearances. That's all for now.